Hello, my name's Brian Rowe. What's that? Oh, the red tailcoat. Yes, that's a clue to just one of several topics that I'm going to speak to you about. I'm a founder member of Cruise Lecturers Association. Our organisation provides a wide range of excellent speakers for the cruise industry across the globe. I consider myself to be very fortunate to be part of CLA. Then again, I have a number of interesting talks which keep the audience riveted from start to finish. A little bit about my background first of all. I was a member of Greater Manchester Police for 32 years. From humble beginnings, pounding the streets of Bolton, did you place the accent by the way? I worked my way up to a level which I could only have dreamed of. By the time I left GMP, I was a Chief Superintendent and was the Divisional Commander of the City of Salford. My division was identified by the Government of the day as being among the most challenging policing divisions in the country. As a senior officer in a high profile location, I was called upon to speak publicly on many occasions. Those occasions included more TV and radio appearances than I care to remember. I wanted to maintain my public speaking skills after leaving the force, so I trained to become a professional Toastmaster and Master of Ceremonies, hence the red coat. So what can you expect from my talks? Well, first and foremost, they are humorous and are designed to entertain my audience. Secondly, they will educate and I can guarantee that you will go away armed with new knowledge that you can use to confound your friends. And finally, you will go away with some practical tips on public speaking, which I have learned over many years. I make sure that there is something for everyone. So what are my talks all about? Number one is my ever popular Tales of a Wedding Toastmaster. I have officiated at over 200 weddings now and you simply couldn't make up what goes on. I tell you the fascinating history of the Toastmaster said to date back to Charles II. I tell you what this Toastmaster does at a typical wedding if there is such a thing. I recount some of the hilarious tales from some of my weddings and I have a rather special ending which will leave you smiling as you depart from my first talk. Number two is my first police talk and is entitled Policing in the 1970s, My Rise to the Top. I will take you on a journey back to the 70s and my life as a young Bobby. TV programmes may try their best, however I will tell you exactly what it was like to be a young police officer all those years ago. My tale is laced with true stories which will amaze and entertain you in equal measure. Talk number three takes a leap forward to my years as a senior officer in Greater Manchester Police. I call it Police Leadership, A Tale of Two Cities as much of it takes place in Manchester and Salford. I was the force's first search coordinator and I led the force's search capability in the face of the significant and growing threat from Irish Republican terrorism. My officers were called to every major crime scene to search for evidence. Furthermore, we had to search buildings and other locations prior to the arrival of royalty or high profile politicians. You wouldn't believe that such a responsible job could bring about such hilarious consequences. I go on to tell you about my exciting time in charge of City Centre Manchester. What a wonderful place to be a police officer. The bright lights, the shops, the theatres, the famous gay village and don't forget the red light area. I finish by talking about my time in charge of the city of Salford, a tough job if ever there was one. The talk concludes with my top 10 tips on leadership. Talk number four returns to the wedding theme and I call it simply wedding traditions from around the world. I became so fascinated by wedding culture that I researched weddings in other countries. I share that knowledge with you keeping the emphasis squarely on entertainment. 
Why do the Chinese have such a fascination with the colour red at their weddings? What is the significance of breaking glass at a Jewish wedding? Do you need to obtain planning permission to take a gypsy wedding dress into a public place? You'll find out the answers to these questions and more when you come along to my talk. Finally, how would you like to communicate better every day of your life? We don't all want to become accomplished public speakers, but most of us will jump at the chance to improve our verbal communication. Well, my fifth talk, Speak With Confidence, does just that. I give away the secrets of my public speaking success. What I have learned over many years, I will share with you in the space of one hour. There's something for everyone, and as ever, the emphasis is on entertainment. So come along and join me, Brian Rogue, for my series of talks. You won't be sorry, and you never know, we might become firm friends. I hope to see you soon.